Child, everybody got problems. I'm gonna talk about mama. I'm gonna talk about mine. I'm gonna talk about myself. Now, as we sit here, as we sit here, and I think about, and I think about this, there, you're in all these places talking about all these places, but who are you with? So before I start commenting on anything, I'm going to think about who I'm with. So that's going to lead me to comment on my own situation, my own circumstances. And what is my situation and my circumstances? And what do I want to say about it? Well, you know, I feel like this. That personally, I feel like about my own situation, not someone else's, but my own situation, I have to get into the word of God. Because the Bible says there's a time and a season for everything. And I may feel like, you know, the enemy is getting the best of me. But there's a time and a season. You know, time is going to be up for the enemy to prevail. So I have to know when when that is. And I have to speak that word over myself. So I think as far as my problem is concerned, I need to get into the word of God as much as possible. So then you should have done that when you were a young woman. Well, I have to say, so what is the problem? My lack of spiritual knowledge, my lack of spiritual, I'm not sure the right word to say, effectiveness. Well, I said, we can be faithless, but God is still faithful. He cannot deny himself. So I'm going to keep on trying to get into the word and to seek God and to read the Bible and about my problems, about the things I may be facing. That's, a, that's all I can do. That's all that I can do. I must continue to pray about the things that I may be facing. You know, but I'm not, I can't have to worry about what someone else is doing and what their focus on me is. I have to believe that if indeed God is who he says, then I have to begin to grasp that. In, in the book of um, Exodus, when the children of Israel came out of Egypt, you know, we, we say that with a great shout. And we, indeed, it is a great shout because God did marvelous things in that situation with with the children of Israel. But that was a very trying experience for their life. They had spent 400 years in bondage, serving people, bowing down to people, living as servants, treated as subhumans. And then they had to come out by faith. And and so that they had that was a that was a trying situation. However, God did some mighty things as we see recorded. I said this enemy that you see today, you will never see him again. I'm not trying to slander anybody or attack anybody or assassinate anybody's character. Or bring down anybody's self-worth. But the Egyptian kingdom have never been a power anymore. The Egyptian kingdom had never been a power anymore. So we see that great miracle God worked. He destroyed the Egyptian army. He never rose against a power. So we see that the nation around it, the Israelites feared them. We see that God was a pillar of cloud by day and a fire by night. So we see that God cared for and nurtured them. So there were great and mighty things that were done. And so we have to, I, I'm talking about me, I'm not talking about other people. What I have to do, I have to focus on those things I, and, and look at it. And you know, what some of you, people are saying that they're going to mess you up because you 
should have been working. You had a job and they messed the job up. You had, you are writing a, a, a freelance project and they're going to mess that up. You're doing this, you're doing that. And you said, you know, I say, well, the Bible says, you know, you may say, well, God, J Joseph went through this and David went through that. And I need you to come in this situation. There's a harvest time. There's a planting time and there's a harvest time. You know, and so I have to, to go in and, and find out when is when the time is for me and for my family. Well, so you should be doing this well. Well, well I, of course I get frustrated sometimes and I say, well, you know, I'm going to, you know, people say don't value my work. So I'm going to just go ahead and make some garbage and make some, have some income. But once you calm down and focus, I believe mean, God's going to clarify. The Bible says it is God that gives you the power to get wealth. The Bible says wealth and riches shall be in your house. The Bible says that in wisdom right hand is long life and into her left hand are riches and honor. Um, the Bible says, Blessed man that fears the Lord, wealth and riches shall be in his house. Um, and then, you know, the Bible goes on to say quite a few things. The Bible says, God teaches you to profit how to make a profit. So, you know, I may, I may, it may be people saying something, you know, about me not being able to to gain some things with my own work, you know. And I, I'm specifically seeing somebody that I wish I would. I'm, I'm going to specifically begin to call upon the Lord to get rid of this person. So that's not because I'm afraid of them. But but, but they're a, a thorn in my side. I'm disgusted by their appearance and their presence and their demand for something that they're looking at in my life. Be fat focused thinking there's the woman. I pay a man millions of dollars and can't even grab his dick. See, see, I see how I'm angry because that she's looking at me and demanding something in my life. And I say, <laughs> I was saying, be angry with sin. I know I need to, to ask for forgiveness for my sins. Help me to develop the fruit of the spirit and not just sin. Okay. So I, I'm seeing, I'm seeing this this big fat focus thinking that's the woman demanding something, not even money. I'm I'm gone. Goodbye. But anyway, so I need to talk about what my own problems are. That's how my own problems are. So um, you know I can speculate about this country. You know that white people are doing what they've been doing for generations, forever, demanding. Something that they, they feel entitled to. Demanding something they feel entitled to. They want to taste something that belongs to someone else and, 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 and make it into a profit for themselves. And if you look around, you can see that. You can see people do that all the time. They want to take something and they'll go and put it in a bottle and sell it and say it was theirs. They'll take something and they'll put it in a, in a and a package wrap it up neat and make it and put it in every grocery store in America and make money off of it. You know what I'm saying? But it's nothing, but it's something they don't even have nothing to do with them. They have no idea what they're talking about. There's something they just want to take. People do that from from the beginning. And so we see that like, and that's what I think about America. I think America is sitting back and just picking apart things. Picking apart things and want to Put it in storage. I think they got transcripts and documents and all kind of old bull. And they didn't look at somebody's personal life and waiting for a time that they call appropriate to bring it out as their own. That's what I'm thinking. That's exactly what I'm thinking. But I have to I have to stay before the Lord because the some people's mind don't go nowhere. And that's something that's very important to them. So I have to keep I have to keep before the Lord. I have to keep before the Lord. That's why for my own problem. Well, Cindy, you know, what would you wish would happen? You know, people used to tell me all the time what to do. They used to tell me all the time the things I can do. So you need to lose weight and you're gonna do this, you're gonna do that. 
and which kind of say he going to buy you a house and a car and, and, and this and that and the other, you know what I'm saying? And this one, and this and this and his say that they want to get married and they're going to do this and they're going to do that and do that. You know what I'm saying? And so we see, we see that people say, well, this is what you could have did. Well, I'm, I'm not sure what somebody said, well, you could have done this or you could have done that. You know what you think? Nobody will kill you for your own for your own stuff. I, I'm uh if I get some money, I might just put cameras on my life for the entertainment better watch this motherfucker try to kill me for my own shit. Kid you not. I kid you not. We can watch this ugly motherfucker try to kill me for my own shit. I might I'm real I'm serious. Put cameras on, and we can talk about stuff. You know, we can I can, we can do a little bit of stuff, and and we can watch me try to work. Well, motherfucker, try motherfucker, uh, 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 take me off the earth. Don't let me try to do shit. And that's what I'm sensing God is saying to me as I sit at my desk. Don't move, Cynthia. This motherfucker try to kill you for your own shit. I mean, he said she's like that. He said that word. <laughs> Lord forgive me. I need to quit. I need to improve my vocabulary. Because God told me, he said, oh, words doesn't mean anything in the spirit. He don't mean anything in the spirit. So we need to renew our mind. Because those words don't mean anything in the spirit. But we don't want to be irreverent and blasphemous. But, yeah, I think we need to, to uh, I need to just pray about my own part. And keep on meditating, and keep on fasting, and keep on seeking the Lord. So, um... So that's a, that is where I, I sit. You know, but this country has a, a history of doing that. You know, a history of doing that. I remember I was watching this movie, and we don't know what happened. In, in fact, in fact, in truth, we don't know the movie account of it. I don't know the movie account. Maybe there was someone that know the real, was sitting there, and they know what happened. But it's, it's Malcolm X is, is making it a, a, an appeal to bring before the people the plight of the oppressed. And the white man turned him laughing his ass off. He said, you're a demagogue. But you, but, but back in Mexico, I ain't saying that he looked. And it's like he, he jumped a little bit. And it's like he ain't saying nothing else. He, he good. He good. Because I was like, what you mean I'm a demagogue? What you mean I'm a demagogue? What you trying to <laughs> You trying to say? You trying to say I'm standing people risking my life, standing before the world when I could lose my life? I'm a demagogue. I'm trying to gain something. I could get more as a street hustler, but I'm. What you mean? He is better than me. But I think that was coming from the black community. And I see he says that he didn't say one word. Now, isn't that something? Isn't that something? Pleading it. Making an appeal for the plight of the old press. And the motherfuckers turn on your ass. Goodbye. But anyway. Anyway, I'm going to shut up. I, I'm, I'm not, you know, trying to get up in nobody. But I'm just looking at this 33-year-old man. And how his daddy quiet. And people say, that man quiet. Cause he didn't fuck, he tried to fuck that baby. And he don't want nobody for to know it. But let me tell you something. If that were my child, I'd say, honey, don't embarrass me with that foolish shit. Almost getting in front of people and running your mouth like a fucking fool. I would. I said, you embarrass me. Sit your fucking ass down. I would. <laughs> I would. Bitch, you don't sit your ass down with that bullshit. Embarrassing me. Running your mouth like a fucking fool in front of people. That's what I would. I would. I would. I would. Say shit. And if you gonna run your mouth, don't say shit about me. And I'm and no, don't be sure and nobody better not ask me nothing. Baby, that'll 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 just that'll make me whoo. I have to go to my God. I have to go to my God. Ooh, that's why that's a holly. Holly, hallelujah. Thank you, they ain't my children. God forgive me. And I don't mean that to hurt that boy. He looked just like that man. 
Ooh, that's that's a gift from God. But I but I beat that motherfucker to death. While the camera rolling and stir my fucking time. Bitch, if you don't get <laughs> you don't get off the fucking internet with that bullshit, my business in the streets. But my mama will beat our ass. Grandpa will beat our ass. My uncle was 50 years old. And Grandpa put the belt out and told him to get on your knees and pray. And guess what? You better believe it. Uh, she, you think a 33-year-old won't get their ass beat in the Henry household? I bet you, I bet you, if, I bet you, now Henry won't move. You don't see no Henry's on the internet. Because they getting their ass beat to death. That's what I'm telling you. He'll be, his ass will be beat to death. Cynthia, well, how can you say anything? Look at what you're going through. And that's my query. What, is, what are you trying to do, God? Because you're going to kill me, I'm going to kill you. What are you trying to do, God? You're going to kill me, I'm going to kill you. And that's just how it's going to go. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. He's just quiet. He is quiet. And that, and that, then it's gonna leave. Well, I need to stay out of there because I don't know how their family. I don't. I don't know how their family handle their problems. They're not here. The man is not a hero. The man is not a hero. He he has grown with his auntie. His auntie raised him. You don't know how that lady handled that young man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I, I, that man. That's not a hero family. Now he she literally like she did something wonderful for him. You know what I'm saying? He looked like he did something wonderful here. He looked like he rooted into a wonderful talent. But, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, shit, you had an anger problem. Shit, I ain't know no anger problem. And, and that's why I don't talk to people. But it's people that are forcing yourself in your life. And that's why I'm going to God with that problem. I'm trying to go to God with that problem. You know, I'm trying to go to God with that problem. I am. I'm trying to go to God with that problem. But I don't deal with people. I don't. I don't. I don't deal with people. And carry on was was carry on Henry. His ass will be beat to fucking death. On Instagram. That's right. I kid you not. I kid you not. He'll be beat to fucking death. Because oh, he won't open his damn mouth. He will not open his damn mouth. For no reason. Ain't no hero going around. No hero going around hungry. Ain't no hero going around hungry. She. You better find a job some fucking way. <laughs> Grandpa, don't play that, baby. I don't care where you find a job. You better find a job somewhere. You better find a job somewhere. Now, now we are going. We are going. I'm leaving people alone. I'm leaving people alone, and I, I just, I just don't know. I hope they. Uh, I don't know what to say about the folks, you know. But the boy is talking, talking, talking. He just saying all kind of old stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? He just the boy is saying all kind of old stupid shit, embarrassing his dad. You know what I'm saying? Well, boy, boy, you don't go sit down somewhere with your stupid ass. Looking just like that man. Shit. And then and then he can deny you because you're 33. I don't know the nigga. I don't know the nigga. <laughs> I don't know the nigga. I don't know. Shit. <laughs> I know. Shit, that's all. That's, I ain't raising. I ain't raising nigga. I just... I just be trying to talk to him every once in a while. I just seen him every once in a while here and there. <laughs> he can deny his hand. I be denying him out of it. I would. Boy, I don't know that nigga. I'm sorry, I don't know that crazy ass man. <laughs> I mean. Bye.